The UK's Defence Ministry here has said the 1,000 uniformed troops preparing to be deployed would act in a strictly non-combat role, contributing to an Italian-led 6,000-strong training mission. However, some sources are reporting that if the new unity government requested it, elite SAS combatants could also move against what the Defence Ministry has described as high-value Islamic State targets. IS has made substantial gains in a year of low-level civil war in Libya, and the country is seen as ripe for further expansion by the terrorist group. Libya's new unity government may welcome help stemming the further expansion of IS and would likely request British and indeed French help in a bid to achieve the task. The importance, though, of protocol here is underscored by the arrival this week of around 20 US special forces in Libya who were promptly told by local commanders to go home because they didn't have the right paperwork. However, the response from London and Paris to an invitation to send troops would be, in large part, dependent on the stability of Libya's new unity government. And that is, as yet, an unanswered question. Richard Bestick, CCTV at the UK Defence Ministry, London.